Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Victor Grau Serrat and I'm one of the developers working at Enigma on Catalyst. In this short video today, I will show you how to install Catalyst on your machine. And for that, I'll be using my Mac, which runs on macOS Sierra. I'll be following along the instructions that we have on our documentation website at enigmampc.github.io slash catalyst. When you land on this page on the left hand side, you'll see a link to the install instructions that I will be following. I will be using pip, which is Python's package manager, to install Catalyst. Catalyst is coded in Python, and so it, is, uh, it, it comes as a, as a Python package. So I'll scroll down and I'll be following these very simple instructions. All what I need is a terminal. And the first thing that I want to make sure is that I have the latest version of pip installed. Pip is itself a pip package and I can upgrade like any other pip package. Now that I have the latest pip installed, the next thing that I want is virtual environment. Virtual environments is the recommended way to go when you have multiple Python projects in your machine and you want to make sure you want to avoid conflicts between, between the dependencies of those projects so that you isolate each environment in, in its own. If you don't have it installed yet in, in your system, go ahead and install virtual environment which is also a pip package. And then the next thing that you want to do is create the, your virtual environment where you're going to install Catalyst. What this command does is create a directory where it will put all the packages uh, that uh, you'll be installing in, in, in this environment and populates it with the most basic packages that you need to, to get going. So next thing is activate this environment. And, and here you'll see um, that you are, you've gone inside the environment and now you are ready to install Catalyst. So go ahead and type pip install Enigma Catalyst. What this does is goes through the dependencies for Catalyst and fetches all the packages that Catalyst needs to run. So all this happens automatically, uh, goes and downloads all the required packages and then installs it in your system. This process might take from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your machine. While this installs, I want to um, do something else and is remind you that every time that you want to run Catalyst, you have to activate your environment. So every time you open a new se session, you need to do the activation or go inside the environment. So go ahead and source um, Catalyst being activate and here I am to uh, inside the environment. So the installation has finished and I can verify that Catalyst is correctly installed by typing this very simple command. Command that tells me that Catalyst is indeed installed and it's running version 03.3 which is the latest as of today, October 27th, 2017. Once you are done um, running Catalyst and you want to get out of this virtual environment, you just need to take the activate. And you'll see that outside the, your virtual environment, Catalyst is not available. So if you know that you have installed Catalyst previously and when you type it, you get this error, you know that you have to go inside the environment again. Uh, let's do it one more time. Catalyst being 
activate and here I am with Catalyst correctly installed. And we are done. We have successfully installed Catalyst on a Mac computer and we are ready to start running our training algorithms on Catalyst, which we will cover on another video. Bye!